The Master Keys MK750 is Cooler Master's most premium mechanical gaming keyboard with perky RGB lighting, the distinct illuminated light bar across the front, and a premium braided cable with an actual USB Type-C plug. There's a removable soft magnetic wrist rest, and it's available with a variety of genuine Cherry MX switches, so click the sponsor link in the description for more information. Excellent! Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video, I'm uh, I'm kind of excited about. I'm actually mostly excited just about today. That's because today actually marks the kicking off of the installation of my new electrical system. So, Tesla Powerwall, and uh, what I actually do today is a main panel upgrade um, because my electrical panel back there uh, is from the 60s. So, the Powerwall and the solar actually isn't going in for another week, so I'm not going to be showing that today, but I am working on a video on that when it actually happens. So for today, I'm just going to make kind of a vloggy style video. I'm going to see how I can get by because my power is supposed to be out for like four to six hours. Uh, I'm going to see if I can still manage to get internet and play around with some UPSs inside. And beyond that, I'm probably just going to do like chores. So uh, thanks for joining me today and stick around to see what my day is like as my electrical panel gets upgraded. So I don't really show my backyard too much because there's not really a whole lot going on out here. Um, last year I did a shittiest vlog ever where I, I mowed the lawn and I'm gonna have to do that again soon, but don't worry, I'm not gonna make a video about it this time. But uh, here's the back of my house. Uh, the solar panels are all gonna go up here on the back and that's gonna be facing where the sun comes in. So that's an ideal location for those. And then over here is, of course, the electrical panel. And as you can maybe tell, this thing is like super old. Uh, it's a 100 amp, 100 amp panel, so they're gonna upgrade it to a 200 amp modern panel that's compatible with solar and everything like that. Originally the plan was to do a sub panel off of this one, um, but since I wanna do some further work in the house, I wanted the upgrade though so I could do some dedicated runs uh, into the garage for uh, power and we're hopefully gonna redo the kitchen and that kind of thing too. So that's gonna get swapped out. They're gonna need to cut a hole in this wall. Uh, this over here is actually uh, the fiber connection, so I have fiber to the home. So this is, originally was Verizon, but now it's actually handled by Frontier. And I'm gonna see if that will still work. If I can power the modem inside the house, I might still be able to get internet even if the power is out. So I'll do a little experiment there. And for anyone who's in a, an apartment or somewhere where you have power outages, I have had the experience before where as long as you can power the modem, you may still be able to get internet, um, which may or may not be useful for you. Oh look, and Hero has come to say hello. Hello there, big boy. Are you still groggy? He just woke up. Encountered my first setback of the day. First, I couldn't find my, my GoPro, my Hero 4. I like to use this for time lapses, so I was hoping to set up a time lapse of the process today. Um, did find it, but unfortunately, it seems as though the battery is just completely dead. Totally did a good job planning ahead today, so I'm gonna see how much of a charge I can get on this before they show up to turn the power off. Got a Fair amount of clutter going on out here, but it's okay, we're in between projects. Time to start shutting down non-essential computers. Well, I pretty much gotta shut down all the computers. Arctic Panther's already sleeping. All right, so for now, because uh, I, I need to get this set up, I ran a bit of extension cord out here. Uh, just to keep it plugged in, make sure it's still charging while I'm waiting for uh, the power to get shut off. Alright, SD card is installed. Got 64 gigs on there, which is uh, plenty for a lengthy time lapse. And as long as I can keep this thing powered, I should be able to capture this whole thing. I should also ask the installers if I can film them first before doing anything, but at least I'll be ready. Uh, the trick for getting a good time lapse, of course, is making sure the shot's set up beforehand. So, uh, GoPro app is key for that to make sure I can line everything up. Also, it's got a wide angle thing and a narrow angle thing. And, uh, oh, look, it's working. And I definitely want the narrow angle for this. Wide would be way too wide. All right, video, photo, wait, where's the flip? One photo every two seconds. At the medium angle. All right, and I had to change the rotation back so I could actually see what it's seeing. And since it's uh, right set up now, I was I actually had it mounted upside down last time I used it, so I had flipped the display. But there we go. 
this is functional, which is good. And just finishing things off with a bit of a sandbag at the bottom to hold things down and make sure it stays steady. OSHA compliance and all, of course. And the time-lapse rig is set up. Nori approves. What do you think of the time-lapse rig, Nori? She's not interested at all. I have good news. Uh, they've arrived, work has begun, and we got approval for uh, me to record them doing a time lapse. So, right now, the dogs are inside and uh, they're just gathering stuff out here, preparing the work area. Look, a ladder. It's amazing. Whoa. Nori's very mad that she's not able to join with everyone out here. Alright, guys, work is underway, but uh, I wanted to do like an unboxing of, of my new breaker panel. Here it is 200 amp panel from Eaton. Look how much bigger it is. It's glorious. That's where the electrons go. And then uh, we lift up here and we can see, look, we got a master, a master switch. We can actually, with one switch, turn off the power to the whole house. Very convenient thing that before I was forced to work with a bunch of different breakers to do. I assume there's other stuff going on in here, but since I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Now we just, they're gonna relocate the, uh, this is the fiber box. This is where the fiber to the home comes in. And, wow. Apparently this should be sealed at the bottom to prevent, like, prevent from lots of, engineer. lots of deadly creatures from making a home inside there. Look how many dead. I know. Like I'm getting an arachnophobia vibe. There's probably an actually king spider at the back that's gonna jump out and <laughs> try to. I hope not. my new copper sun rod. now been turned off. Uh, they're removing the my old box, my old main panel, and I've come inside just to make sure. I tried to prepare to make sure everything that needed to be turned off is turned off, but I do hear the beeping of my UPS's warning me that, hey, there's no power. This is why everyone should have a UPS. Power goes out, UPS stays on, and down here we can see a readout of uh, how much estimated time is remaining based on the load. So we got Good couple hours worth, um, but granted it's just got one computer connected to it on standby right now. But I'm gonna pull this out of here and see if I can mess around with it. Hero's inspecting the gear. <clears throat> Do you approve, Hero? Yep, he approves. Hero's helping Johnny. <laughs> Hero's feeling playful. Giving him belly rubs. Belly rubs. Oh. God bless you. God bless you. Uh oh. What are you doing here, boy? What are you doing? I'm training over for belly rubs. Oh, yes. Those are good. Those are good belly rubs. Rip, old electrical panel. We hardly knew ye. You served us well. 
electrical panel from Paul's house, born January 1964, died April 2018. Nominee Petri at Philly, Spiritu Sanctu. Amen. Hero's doing some inspection work. We're at the midday point. Crew's over here having some Jimmy Johns. And the main electrical panel has been removed. Now we have the guts of the house hanging out. Vital entrails. And I am... This is all fascinating. Okay, I moved back inside so I could test my theory. I uh, took my UPS here, moved it over to the family room. And out here, of course, is where the HTPC is, as well as the Verizon Frontier uh, fiber node connection right there. So just move this over here, turned it on, and I have plugged into the back uh, the connection to the actual Verizon uh, router guy over there, and then I plugged in this power strip. And the power strip has power for like the Verizon router here, as well as my secondary router that's daisy chained off of it. A couple other things are plugged into that, but the main things I needed were the Verizon and this one, which has my Wi-Fi on it. Fortunately, the Wi-Fi booted up properly. I have connected to it, and I'm going to run a speed test right now. I'll show you guys if I'm still getting my full speed connection. I believe I am. Although, honestly, I'm supposed to be getting 100 up and 100 down. Look at that, up that upload speed. Hell yeah. And there you have it. According to the Google speed test, I've got 83 down and 114 up. The down's a little disappointing, but that still at least proves that I actually have a functional, working, router fiber connection, even though the power to the rest of my home is out. So the lesson to be learned here, um, which I learned in my apartment a while back, but um, any of you guys who suffer from power outages, this isn't always gonna work, because it depends on whether the power is out to like the local connection point that you are connecting to and that kind of thing. But very often you have a power outage in your home, but if you can get power to your modem, uh, to your router, uh, and have some wireless battery operated device to connect with, you still can. Which is pretty cool and useful uh, if you just want to, you know, play around on the internet while the power is out. But also much more useful and helpful if you maybe are in an, in an emergency situation where you desperately need access to information or connectivity. Uh, maybe, maybe I saved someone's life just now. Probably not. But see how things are going outside. Okay guys, uh, the Tesla crew has just left and I'm gonna quickly go over their work. Because uh, it's done. It's not completely done. I don't have the power wall, I don't have the solar yet, but the electrical main panel has been upgraded. And some of the interesting things you learn going through something like this is that your house that was built, you know, 40, 50, years, 50 plus years ago is no longer to code. So like this pole up on top is now much taller. The old pole was shorter than that. Uh, by the way, the utility, uh, Southern California Edison in my case, is going to need to come uh, when all of this is done and do an inspection uh, before they sign off on everything. And at that point, I guess they're going to replace some of these connectors up there. Uh, so those are just temporary so that I still have power uh, until next week when the power wall gets installed. So the first thing they did was relocate the Fios box. And fortunately, this rear portion of that actually had a big coil of fiber optic cable in there, which is very useful. That gave them enough uh, length to move it down here and give them a little bit more room to work with. Then up here we have three boxes, and then this bottom box here is just a connector box for all of them. So inside the main panel we have uh, the main on-off switch, so I can turn the whole system on or off, which is cool. I've uh, got a couple breakers in here, 30 amp, which is going to go for the AC, and then the 100 amp, which uh, actually passes over here into the sub-panel. The sub-panel here 
everything that's connected to this will be backed up by the power wall. So on here I got a bunch of uh, 20 amp and a few 30 amp breakers in there. Uh, so that's cool. If I only have a 30 amp breaker for our oven, which was wired up in kind of a weird fashion before. But then finally we have this third box here, and uh, this box is actually specifically for the power wall. I understand it actually has Wi-Fi and a 3G uh, connectivity built into it, so that you can always have connectivity and control for your power wall, even if your Wi-Fi goes down. So I don't know much about that box there. Um, but then everything is of course connected underneath. And then there's still a little bit of, of stucco missing there, but uh, they're going to patch that all up once the final installation happens. But guys, that's all for this video. So on behalf of uh, Hero and myself and Nori, who have been here all day, I want to say a big thank you to the Tesla installers, uh, Jonathan, Johnny, Yuri, and Korob. They were here all day. They did an amazing job, uh, and they were all really nice guys. So uh, I, I learned a little bit by asking a few questions along the way, but I'm still not quite to the level of a licensed electrician. Anyway, guys, uh, more on this project coming probably in another couple weeks because i uh, got a week until the power wall and the solar goes in. Uh, but for now, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.